hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel yes if y'all don't know the brat and her baby big booty judy got married and guess who was in attendance all of those people y'all see portia and that's head crack that's ricky smiling of course the brat and her lovely bride but where is uh simon gabodia where is he where is he yeah, Portia sitting up there, and Shamir was there, but neither one of their husbands was there. What's going on with that? Because Shamir is over there with uh, Big Tigger on V103, and Ricky Smiley show it's two separate things. Now, he can marry Fallon, treat her like royalty, divorce her, but he still ain't married to Portia. What's going on with that? Two beautiful women. Yet he married one and the other one, which is you, he just toying with you. Okay. He let you be a mess in Mexico. He let you let you make a fool out yourself. But he ain't wanna wife you. You keep saying you're gonna have a wedding, y'all gonna have a wedding, y'all don't bought rings and all this kind of stuff. But yet he's already divorced. But yet he ain't set no date with you to marry you. Now, that was candy. As well as Eva, they were at the Brat's wedding, beautiful wedding, and I'm pretty sure the TV people didn't pay for it. I might be wrong, but I think they paid for their wedding, and it was very beautiful, okay? Very royal, mystique-like, dripping love was in the air. But where's your wedding day, Portia? Where's your wedding moment? You've been going to people's weddings lately, but we have not seen yours on the horizon as of yet. Portia's dream weddings. You were supposed to have three by now. You're supposed to be a married woman by now. But seems like you're a glorified girlfriend with a man who's making a fool out of you. You're giving him all these expensive things, and he's giving you nothing but wet dreams. Okay? He likes to smoke, he likes to drink, he likes to party with you. But marry you, that's probably the farthest thing from his mind. Do you want to use you? That's plausible. Very plausible. But here you are at a wedding, and yet Simon is not with you. He didn't accompany you. Same thing with the Super Bowl. He left you high and dry, and your plus one was Shamil. I'm like, is Shamia having problems in her relationship as well? That she need to sit and tell us about? Talk about it on V103? Let us know. Because we know it. But we know that clown right there. Grandpa, Papa Smurf, however you want to see him. Senior citizen. Still smoking cigars. Giving Portia secondhand smoke that she don't need. That she shouldn't be by. And I don't think she really likes Simon smoking cigars. But he can party with him. He can jet off on New Year's Eve and be with uh, Shamir and her husband and celebrate. Not now, mass going on around there. But she just jet setting everywhere. Throwing caution to the wind. And he'll put a tat on you. Well, a tat on his body with your name on it. But your name is not on them cars. The car that he gave you. Nor on the house. Allegedly. That's what's going on in the YouTube streets. That's what they're saying girl. He don't have your name on that car. And he don't have that name. Your name on that house. So I'm telling you. You went to the jewelry store. When we first got to even know about Simon. And you plopped down some wedding rings. Call him a wedding ring. Promise ring. What the hell. I'm like how stupid can you be. You run around him being stupid. Naive. Gullible. And you run around him looking like a thirst bucket. That don't match up with anything that's sane, Portia. It's like you're almost insane. Insane. Like you're on a spell or something. But you know we got to be messy. That's what we do. We got to be messy. Because you just bring us here. You have no logic, no rhyme, no reason or why you do the things you do. So, we got to come out straight in Messyville. And mess with you a little bit. And hopefully. You can come to your senses. About what is going on. 
since it seems like nobody wants to tell you at all what you're doing wrong, how you're doing it, and any of that. Nobody wants to tell you. So, where they won't, I will. I sure will. You're looking like a hot mess. You're sounding like a hot mess. If it is a hot mess, then it's you. Okay, Portia? When are you going to wake up? When are you going to smell the coffee and make breakfast and say, I won't do it anymore? I'm done. If you can't marry me in 24 hours, forget it. Forget us. Let's move on. Let's separate. Let's enjoy life without each other. But yeah, that's when we first met. And you had pronounced him as your boyfriend slash husband. And you over there buying rings for him. I'm like, girl, where is your common sense? Do you have any sense under that hair of yours? And again, he just likes smoking. Smoking. Even Fallon had to say, enough is enough is enough. I can't go on. I won't go on with you now. She left him. Whether she left him and divorced him. Whether he got rid of her and divorced her. It doesn't matter. It's all semantics. She's not there anymore. And he's not well trained. Well, he probably trained because he's training you. Now, she left with that pretty car. It was in her name. Showboat. All right. Styling, profiling, looking good. Now, that's a woman. That's a woman that knows her worth. Portia, you don't know your worth yet. You're still being used. You're still being manipulated. And you're still looking like trash out here, baby. He got you looking like a hoe. A whole porno hoe. Because he don't care. Thirst bucket is what we call it. Because he don't care. You could be butt naked. And take pictures. Which I couldn't show it on my channel. And he'll be like, he's fine with that. Who does that? A man, a real man. Wouldn't want nobody else to see what he gets to see in private. Because you leave nothing to the imagination when you go out there on that beach. And really, when you're dressing out in the streets, you leave nothing to the imagination. You always got to show your tits and ass. Tits and ass, tits and ass. That's all we see from Portia. Tits and ass. Now, he moved you into the house that was supposed to be you all's house. But from what I'm hearing, your name ain't on no house. So you better not. You better hold still on that house. That you did buy. That you have your mama, your grandmama, and your granddaddy in. Because he ain't, nothing, he ain't looking but for nothing but a good time from you. You got a good time chick. You the not marrying type chick. You the good time chick. Unless something change in the near future. Because he lets you made a fool out yourself. A plum, plum fool out yourself. When you was on your... Portia Family Matters. And y'all was in Mexico. And you were throwing dishes, plates, knives, boom equipments, microphones. Anything you can put your hands on. But he can't take you to the altar. That dun 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 You know that wedding march? That procession song. He can fly you around the world. But yeah, he can't marry you. You watching everybody else get married. But you have no date. You have no time to meet up at the chapel. Or meet up at some wooded area. Where it has nothing but fresh grown flowers. And just a nice, what do you call it, open country scene. Where he's walking and you walking. And something in the middle that y'all going to meet. And y'all going to say, I do. I do, I do, I do. And jump a broom if you want to. Yes, I'm being messy. Florida, yes, I am. Because I'm tired of her looking like a hoe. A thought, a thirst bucket out here. And if I'm going to be messy, I might well be a hot mess. I love that saying. Because everybody else is showing and proving. They getting married to the mates of their choices. And you only got a wish, hope, and no prayer.
Mm-hmm. What are you waiting on, Portia? What is he waiting on? You don't need a special. You don't need Bravo to pay for it. If he got what he said he got, he quickly can throw at least one wedding, one wedding in the States for you. But I guess he's, he, I, well, he looked like father time anyway. But time waits for no one, Portia. Time waits for no one. And I'm pretty sure you're getting tired of people asking you, well, when is you and Simon going to get married? When is you and Simon going to tie the knot? And you probably going back to him, telling him the same shit. But you know what he said, Portia? He want to impregnate you. Meaning, he don't want you as his wife. You could be one of his baby's mamas. But he don't want you as a wife. If he had any good goddamn sense, he shouldn't even be trying to bring another child in this world with his old disabled self. Senior citizen walking, talking, smoking, drinking. He gonna need somebody to care for him later on, pretty much. You gonna be a glorified caregiver. But you gonna have to wipe his drool, feed him, put his teeth back in his mouth. Bathe him when he poop. You looking forward to doing that portion? Because it don't seem like that's in your uh, library of things to do. You want to party. You want to look good. You want to ride good. You want to come to a nice home. And you don't want to work. Girl, when are you going to get your forever apple? Not on the trail. Not on the path that you're searching now. You walking through. Because that man don't care about you. He don't care about giving you a wedding date. He don't want to pay for it. He's too cheap. If he definitely don't want to pay for his kids' mentality where they can go get a breather, go to a, you know, um, we call it the beach for a month or so to relax, relate, and release. If he had a hard time sending his children there, what do you think he's going to do with you and PJ? He don't care nothing about you. He's going to see you as an option. And one that he's not going to renew. Because he's getting everything right now. So why would he need to marry you, boo? Why would he need to marry you? Those are the questions you should be asking yourself. But yes, you're at another wedding. And you don't have him on your arm. He's supposed to be your arm candy. He's supposed to be your big daddy. He's supposed to be the man. Head crack don't need to be there. But yet, head crack is there. But that's Ricky Smiley's team. You know, he used to uh, mentor head crack. But head crack don't move on. Got his own little show on another station, radio station. But we got Papa Smurf over there. That's all he do. That's, I mean, what does he think he looks sexy with that cigar or something? That's secondhand cancer smoke for Portion PJ. Sad, sad state of events. He want to party with you. He want to lay up with you. But he don't want to wife you, Portia. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it, baby. But that's all I have for this video, guys. That's old crazy Simon. He can put her name on his back. But he can't put her name on nothing important. Like a house deed. Like a car uh, certificate of purchase. Um, what else? What else we got going on? He don't have on the house. He don't have on the cars. He probably don't have her on his death burial. And that's a real low blow right there. Because he getting the milk for free. Why buy the cow? Why buy the whole cow? When he could just rent her out. Because that's all she is. Rent material. Not wife material. But rent material. Pay as you go. <laughs> Let me lay her away. You know, lay away. Girl, you have really become a joke. So I'm going to get out of messy video right now. Y'all get down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about what is going on in Portia life. And how she's definitely looking out here on these social media streets. And stuff that she posts to her own social media that she shouldn't be doing. But doing it anyway. And I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.